Bismillah, hello, how are you? Today we will show how to create the C factor map to use it in a Russell or a user model uh, when you want to quantify erosion rate. So first of all, you need to have uh, uh, you need to have uh, to have Landsat image. For me, I have Landsat image like this. Now this is my Landsat image. Yes, like this. You need to have Landsat image. You can download it from the internet, USGS uh, website. Also, I need to, you need to have the shape file of your watershed. For me, this is my shape file watershed, like this. So as you see, I don't need the extra sides for this image. So I need to crop the uh, the side which I need. So I need to use uh, extract like this extract and uh, extract by mask for spatial analyst like this extract by mask extract by mask extract by Oh yeah, this is extract by mask like this. So you need to use or select the landsat image and select also the watershed shape. You have to take the form and hit extract. Taking some time to do this operation. As you see now, we start now to, to do this operation. So as you see now that the operation has finished, so I need to just to deactivate uh, the lens of image from here and the watershed shape to see just my extracted mask or extracted region from lens of image. So you need now to start the classification. So you need just in your ArcGIS to activate this tool, classification, uh, where is it? Where it is? Um, image classification you need to activate this and go here this is the, this is the, the tools uh, which you have activated so you need uh, just to type just to be sure that you are working in an extracted uh, image so I need now to show you just example i won't know to, to enter in details uh, it's depending on your example you can uh, do more details but uh, here i want just to be uh, general just on the length of a video to not be uh, long so as you see now this is uh, this is a vegetation area as you see now this is urban area and all the others uh, area are soils so uh, for me, I want uh, to divide or uh, classify my image into three, urban area and vegetation area and soils area. So what I need just to go here and like this and activate this tool and start like this. For, for me, this is the vegetation area, so you need just a uh, type like this vegetation area vegetation area is depending on your choices you need just to be sure that's that's are the vegetation area more you choose details you will have precise results like this like this so I can stop here. Uh, what you need now to just select all those and merge them in one layer and name it vegetation like this. And you can choose the color. Of vegetation is green. So in the urban area, for me in my region, this is an urban area, so I need just to choose uh, this color. 
like this also this color like this also you need to go to the field and uh, be uh, sure from uh, the urban area this is also urban area so uh, it depends on your Landsat image and the resolution of your Landsat image more you have uh, uh, precise uh, image you will get a precise uh, results so I will stop like this and select all those and the merge them as I as I done and name it urban urban like, like, like this and for example I will choose for the urban area the yellow color and uh, for the size it's safe for me the size so as you see all uh, the others uh, are soil so I will choose arbitrary like this because all the uh, rests are soils so you need just uh, just to select them like this just to tell the, the software that all these regions here are soils or bearing like this and I will add also and this is a soil this is a color soil this is also a soil for this and I will stop like this and select all this merge and soil for the soil I will uh, choose the brown and when you finish you need just to click here create signature file and go to the C factor extracted and save yes and wait so what you need now to do is to extract a raster uh, or a maximum so you need just to go here and just to take this away I think that's okay so what you need to go to classification like this Software is not responsive, so it's taking more time. Yes, classification. Maximum likely likelihood classification. Maximum likelihood classification. Yes, like this. I will just extract uh, the classification extract. See? And signature. Yes, like this. and click ok I will wait some moment so I will repeat the operation uh, because uh, the process it was long so I need just a maximum like the root uh, I will let it like this uh, extract the tree and let all others as they are and click OK and wait so as you see now that the operation has uh, success this time so I can take this way also this yes I will let just uh, 
extracted area clear trainings like this I will just adjust the color to have the real so this is the green for the vegetation so the urban is yellow and for the barren the brown or uh, orange like this I will choose another color so to be more real like this so what you should now to do is to export a polygon file so you need to go to arc toolbox like this arc toolbox yes conversion tool and from raster from raster like this from raster to polygon like this and select ML class extracted and value and OK like this. I'll wait some moments. So as you see now that the operation has finished, I need to, to go to table content and now I'll try to select this open attribute table and uh, as you see now I have mine uh, I have three kinds or three values of grid code so you need just to select by attribute and click here grid code and yeah it's equal get unique values you should have just three yeah just three members so you need first equal one and apply you will see that uh, the rgis selects all the grid all the, the polygons which has the which have a grid code number one so close and uh, okay i need to go to editor start editing uh, raster like this continue and merge like this and the click OK So I need you need just to to go back uh, to the attribute table to see and to just to check the table. So I need the uh, I need uh, now to wait some time to the operation finish. Ah yes, open attribute table. So as you see now, that's all. So that's all polygons which has which have the grid code number one has merged in one layer. So I'll repeat the operation by select by attribute and the grid code and get unique values to select the the, uh, the second value is number nine. Apply like this. Close. Yes. Uh, editor. Merge. Okay. So I will repeat the third uh, iteration. Uh, select by attributes, uh, grid code, uh, get unique values, and select number 16. Like this. Apply. Yes. And the close editor and the merge like this I will wait. click OK I will wait a moment I will 
Wait a moment, I finish. So, the question has finished. So, what you need uh, just open to view table. So, you need uh, to see that uh, all the polygons has combined in one layer. So, you need now to turn off the start editing, stop editing, and yes. Now, what you need to do now. Go to add a field C factor. So now it's the the turn of C factor. So you need just to choose his float and OK. Need just to check and activate this uh, at a time and raster. OK. Continue. So you need just to type. For me, I know that uh, number number one is the vegetation part. So for the vegetation, for example, it's depending on your C factor. It's not necessary to uh, to insert those numbers. It's depending on your C factor on on your region. For me, for my region, I will select 0, 0, 0.0 comma 0 0.1 for the vegetation for the urban i will click uh, 0 comma 0 1 and for the barren soil barren soil barren area or the soil i will check 0 45 and uh, close and stop editing stop editing and click ok so i need to go back to actual box and Polygon conversion tools and to raster and the polygon to raster and import to raster like this. Selecting a C factor and click here. 90 is dependent on the resolution of the maps or on the resolution which you want. For me, I want to res the resolution 90, so I have inserted uh, 90, but it's depending on your choice in this option i will click ok i wait a moment and uh, extract my uh, my c factor map or c factor raster so as you see that uh, i've success in this operation so this is my extracted raster you need just to change the colors so you need to properties and symbology and you need just is depending here is optional uh, option of choice for me i've cho chosen this uh, like this so as you see now this is my raster now you can use this map in your uh, in your uh, in your model uh, Russell or Russell, you need just to click uh, right and save a layer. You need to go to the file which has the C factor files and the visitation layer, save, click OK. So I hope that I was clear in my explanation. Thank you for attention and uh, take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum.